Hey boys and girls, how are you? I am going to jump on here today and talk a little bit about the phonics lessons that we're going to be doing this week. These are going to be new, brand new things that we have not talked about before. So I want you to pay very, very close attention. Watch this with your parents. You may want to watch it more than one time just to make sure that you get these last few phonics lessons and rules that we have not talked about in the year, okay? So, before we get started, I do want to go over our ghost letter digraphs. We learned those right before spring break, before we left school, and so we're going to review those really quick, and then I'm going to talk to you about the new sounds and new learning that you're going to be doing this week in phonics, okay? Remember that we are following this kind of salmon color paper. It has the week up here, May 11th through the 15th, and we're in the phonics section for this week's lessons, okay? All right, so let's do those ghost letter digraphs. Now remember, a ghost letter digraph, two letters that come together, but you only hear one sound. Okay, one sound. Let's review. Say the picture and then say the sound. Okay, phone, <sighs> wreath, <sighs> not, <sighs> nat, <sighs> Light, I. All right, want to go over those so that you can remember those ghost letter digraphs and how important they are in your writing because those are the ones that trick you up when you're trying to write, okay? Our new learning this week is going to focus on a couple of different sounds. We tried to work these in for the last lesson so that we made sure that you knew all of the first grade Saxon sounds and that you would be ready for second grade. We got to about lesson 115 in the phonics progression. There are 130 lessons for first grade. So we were about 15 lessons shy, including assessments, with what we needed to finish. So we almost got there and we wanted to make sure that you didn't miss anything. So listen closely. This week, we're going to be talking about the two diagraphs, E-I. E-I diagraph can make the sound E like the word receipt, and it can make the sound E like the word veil, okay? Like a lady who's getting married, a veil. So, E like the word veil, and E, like the word receipt, okay? You're gonna code those differently. The E, like in veil, you're just going to underline. And the E, like receipt, you're gonna underline, cross out the I because it is silent, and put a long mark over the E because it makes the long sound. Okay, you're going to be practicing those activities this week on this page right here. Okay, it says long A with E, Y, E, I, and E, I, G, H. And here's what you're going to do. It says circle the words below that have the long A sound in the spelling. So you're going to read these words and see which one has the long A. Now we've already done E, Y, and E, I, G, H. That's why I kind of included that I, G, H in our sound practice earlier. We've already done those, but the E, I sound is new. Okay, you're going to list on the bottom the E-I words, sorry, the E-Y words, um, the E-I words, and the E-I-G-H words. 
then you're gonna make two words of your own. So different than the ones that are here and here, you're gonna make two new words, two new EY words, two new EI words, and two new EIGH words. Okay, so that'll be your practice for those activities, all right? The next thing that you're going to be learning this week are two new triographs. Remember, boys and girls, a triograph is three letters that come together to make one sound. Three letters that come together to make one sound. The two new triographs that you're going to be learning about this week are T-C-H, like the word pat, patch. You would underline all three letters and cross out the T because it is silent, like the word patch. The other one that we're going to be learning about is the dig, like the word bridge. You're going to underline the three letters because it is a trigraph. You will cross out the D and the E because it is silent. And you're going to put our little dot above the G because it's gonna make the J sound like giraffe. And that little dot remembers or helps us to remember that it makes the J sound. So that little dot is kind of like for the top of the J so that we can remember it makes the J sound like the word giraffe. Okay, so we've got TCH triograph, DGE triograph, and we have some practice for that this week. Okay, the first one we're going to be doing are some super, super sentences. You're going to read the sentence, look at the end picture, and then you're going to write that word, sounding it out on the line. Okay, so this would be number one, the chick will hatch. And you can see from the end of the picture, it's coming out. So you would sound out the word hatch. Huh, ah, And that would be your TCH sound, like the triograph in hatch. Okay, you're gonna do all these on this page the same way. Some will be TCH. Some will be DGE. On the next page, you have a search word. I know my boys and girls love a search word. I finally put one in here for you. You're going to be searching for these TCH and DGE words in the picture. On the back of that page, you're going to be drawing the words, practicing TCH and DGE again. You can read the words and then draw the picture. On this one, you are matching the TCH or DGE words to the picture. You're just drawing a line. And on this one, you are filling in the blanks, reading the sentence, finding the TCH or DGE word at the bottom. Okay, the last sound that we're gonna be working on for this week is going to be a combination. Remember, boys and girls, combinations have this little smiley face under the letters, and a combination is two letters that come together to make an unusual sound. We've done a lot with this word, I mean, with this sound, so I'm pretty sure you probably already know it, but I never formally taught a lesson on it and we didn't practice, so I wanted to give you that opportunity to do that this week. This is the W sound, like the word whale, W like the word whale. Now this is sometimes confusing when you see words because you don't know if it's a W-H or just a W. The sounds are very, very similar. We're gonna practice this a good bit this week so that your brain kind of starts to think about the words and what they look like. So when you think about spelling it, your brain will already have a picture of that word to help you out, okay? So remember, W like whale. You've got some practice pages on this this week. This one, you will need your scissors and your glue stick. You're going to read the word 
and then you're going to cut out making one piece of trash, these pictures on the bottom. You will match the picture to the word. And the last one is a cut and paste again. This time you have the picture. You're going to make one piece of trash and cut out the words and match them to the picture. Then on this side, you're going to write three WH words that you know. So I want them to be different than these words down here. Three different WH words that you know. Okay, all right. I'm gonna go over the ones that we're learning this week one more time with you with our cards. So let's look at these, okay? All right, first we had the veil, a receipt, e bridge, j. Patch, ch. Whale, w. Now, you will see these cards again next week. We're going to review over them. I'm going to put them in my review stack so that we keep remembering and learning how to spell and read. I know you're going to do a great job this week with this new learning. If you have any questions, please let me know. Your parents can email me at www.tcss.net. Okay, bye.